Yeah, during this video, I decided to put the television on CNN because it goes into what I want to talk about. And that's how these candidates have been thrown in front of us by the Democrats. Like, we'll start with Kamala Harris, right? And she's clearly somebody who the Democrats have put in front of us and basically saying, vote for her. Because she's close enough to a nigga to where y'all niggas should be voting for. But if you look at her history of being an attorney general in the state of California or the city of San Francisco, I don't know exactly which one. But she had a reputation of locking black men up, keeping them locked up so that that three-strike rule and privatization of prisons, she profits from that. I'm sure her constituents got her to do that. Um, being married to a white man lying about smoking weed in college to music that wasn't even released yet. Just, you know, it's it started with Clinton. He smoked but didn't inhale, so that made us want to vote for him. He's black, playing the saxophone on Arsenio Hall. What does that got to do with politics, man? It's like we elect the most colorful personality. Uh, Barack Obama singing Al Green. No. When was Calvin Coolidge ever caught singing? Or Herbert Hoover? Or Dwight Eisenhower. They weren't up there singing, man. They weren't. They weren't cool with the artists of the day. It's not like Harry Truman was fucking with Bing Crosby and shit. Nah. Nah. Al Jolson and, and Woodrow Wilson was never cool. Get the fuck out of here, man. But anyway, so yeah, they're dangling these candidates that ain't no good for us as black people. And we're saying, fuck y'all. We ain't voting for you. And another one, Cory Booker with his effeminate ass. He was asked on The Breakfast Club, do you have a black agenda? And if so, what is it? <laughs> hey, look, man, <laughs> me being African-American, shut the fuck up, nigga. Do you have a plan or not? And he don't. He actually was seen uh, telling blacks to sympathize with white people as far as blackface goes. Like, try to see things from that. Fuck that. I'm not ever going to look through shit from white eyes, white lenses. No. I'm never going to see life as a white person. I'm never going to try to. That is detrimental to blacks to start thinking that they have, I hate to say it like this, the same rights as the average white person. Get the fuck out of here. No, you're not getting me with that bullshit. So, Cory Booker's a straight clown. And like I said, it's going to come out he's gay. It's already come out. It's going. He's gay. I mean, you, you can look at his mannerisms and see it. The way he holds his mouth and shit, he, he's, he's gay. Um, he was dating, I guess, Rosaria Dawson for a beard. And the last uh, political flunky I'm going to talk about is that AOC chick, that Spanish chick. Uh, I don't even think she's 30 years old yet. By the looks at her, you're going to tell me she's not some 50 to 60 year old, even some late 40 year old dudes come bucket because she's airheaded as all get out. So she's there because dudes want to fuck her. Okay, and she does it to get to the top or get closer to the top. But she's an idiot. Like, I remember seeing an uh, interview with her where she says, I'm mixed with this, that, this and that, but you can't call me black. And I'm like, like, she don't want to be called black is basically what she's saying. And she she can't pass for black, but she's definitely a minority. Is she nice looking? She's under 30. That, that's a pass. But, uh, you know. Once she gets 35, 40, titties start sagging and shit like that. She don't look like she's going to put on weight, really. But she's she's under 30 right now, so she's good for right now. But, you know, I don't know what she's going to look like in some years. I really don't. But And Howard Dean come out telling Tyreek Nasheed that he needs to... Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I just. I. It was secondhand. I didn't get it. But he was basically telling Tyreek Nasheed to shut the fuck up. I mean, Howard Dean that ran for president. Yeah, that dude. Who the fuck is he to tell us? That's the thing. White people do not like it when you're an outspoken black man. They just don't like it. Um, you know, I've. I know people who know me. Like this internet don't know me, but people that know me. Uh, at one point, I was thinking about a military career, and it was like, yo, man. The military don't like outspoken niggas. And that's me. Like, for real. Uh, white people don't really like black men even telling them what to do. 
when I worked at this, uh, it was sort of like a detention center for younger kids, not, not teenagers, for like kids under 18, between 12 and 18. And uh, one in particular day, this girl come into school late and she wanted her mother to come back to the classroom and get introduced to the rest of the kids. And I was like, nah, we already late for school. Let's go. And the mother was like, well, can I go back for five minutes? And I was like, you see, this is why your child is in here. Because every time someone gives her a directive, you try to make amends with her and try to, you know, get the person to bend the rules. That's why she's in this place. And that woman looked at me like, ah, nigga, who do you think you're talking to? She didn't say nothing to me, but what do you think she did? Went right to the front desk and complained about me. So fuck her, basically. And it's happened several instances where I've been outspoken about some shit and white people have tried to muzzle me. And I, I told them to mind their fucking business. This one woman, uh, at the, at, uh, I was at the grocery store and I'm on my phone. Yeah, I was using bad language and she thought she could correct me. I told her to shut the fuck up, pay for her shit and walk out of the store. She tried to call the manager. I said, what the fuck the manager going to do? He can't do shit to me. It's funny how they think that. We supposed to be scared when they talk about calling some... Call whoever the fuck you want to call, man. Shit don't scare me. And that other uh, black woman, fat, ugly bitch. Uh, I think her name is Saunders, is her name. Uh, it, Saunders, Sonia Saunders or something. Ugly as a motherfucker. Fat, dykish looking, got a boy's haircut. Ugly. And she told Luther Campbell, Luke Skywalker... Not Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, two live crew, Luke Skywalker, told him that he needs to shut up about these candidates and all this. And Basically, she doesn't even know that she's a fucking lapdog house nigger for, I think she works for CNN for now, so they fire her ass um, because she thinks she's actually part of the establishment when she's really there to interpret black America for white people, liberal white people, to make it sound very soft-shoed and non-threatening. She's there to basically be the voice of black America saying how non-threatening we were. Fuck her fat ass too. Like, seriously. I love this new black media. Ten years ago, do you think Howard Dean would have cared what Tyreek Nasheed had to say? I mean, ten years ago... Not that he wasn't doing his thing before the internet. He had a few books and a few documentaries, but it was nothing that was crossing over mainstream media. And he's got way, I mean, he's hes hes actually a YouTube somebody. At this point, I can't really claim YouTube fame. People don't know me like that. But the point that I'm making is myself as a small YouTuber, and then you got medium-sized YouTubers and bigger YouTubers like Tyreek, Basically saying, we don't like Kamala Harris. We don't like Cory Booker. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, man. <laughs> Fuck out of here. And uh, we don't like AOC. We don't like Elizabeth Warren. Um, you know, we don't like anybody. Because there's nobody up here saying, we've got a agenda for you. Let's talk about reparations. And how Spanish people don't deserve it. They didn't build this country. No, don't deserve shit. But yeah, I'm loving it. The voice that we have, the social media platform that's saying, yo, we don't fuck with none of these Democratic candidates. Lyndon, Lyndon Baines Johnson was wrong to think that just because you put a Democrat in front of us that has our skin complexion, but don't have our lifestyle and don't have our best interests at heart, and we just going to vote for them because we're a bunch of mindless sheep. It's a shame a lot of black people still are mindless. The ones that think Umar Johnson can actually do some shit with this building that he bought. You know, why isn't there a clip of this dude on the internet cleaning up the shit, painting the walls of that building and cleaning up the outside? Not that he should do this, but if he was smart and wanted to keep running the con, he could he could uh, videotape himself cleaning the building and then ask for more money. And they would get stupid niggas to give it to him. But he ain't even doing that. That that should show you what how little he really thinks of your intelligence. Like, okay, if this dude really bought a school, he should be doing renovations on it right now. If he's expecting that shit to be open by when? What'd he say? 
August of this year. He should be out there getting that trash up. He ain't doing none of that. There's no school people. Stop being stupid.